What's going on, InBuzz community? Welcome to another Community Choice. As always, I'm your host, Red Falcon Games, and this time I'm going to be covering your guys' favorite Mario bosses. So let's do it. In fifth place is PD Piranha with 9% of the votes. PD Piranha is in a few games um, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. He's also in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. But I think his main appearance is in Super Mario Sunshine, also the introduction to PD Piranha. And he did a lot in Bianco Hills. And he was a pretty major boss there. And um, he's also in a lot of different Mario sports games and has is, is appeared in a lot of Mario games. And I guess a lot of people like Petey Piranha. So Petey Piranha gets 9% of the votes in fifth place. In fourth is Dementio from Super Paper Mario. And um, he is a, the true antagonist to Mario in Super Paper Mario. Is one of Count Black's minions, but he later branches off and becomes his own thing, you know? But um, he's really cool looking. I like the way he, the way he uses his magic and stuff like that, and the way he looks. And the, I like his whole persona. He's really cool, and I'm glad he got fourth, fourth place with 10% of the votes. In third place was King Boo with 16% from Luigi's Mansion mainly. He is in a few different games like Super Mario 64 DS and um, a few other games, but mostly for his work in... Uh, excuse me, Luigi's Mansion. He, he is in Super Mario Sunshine as a boss in um, Hotel Delfino. You have a thing going on there with King Boo. But I think it's mainly because of Luigi's Mansion, one of my favorite GameCube games. It's really awesome um, what he does. He's just, he's just got some great lines in that game, too. He's just a really cool dude. And I don't even know if he is a dude. He's a boo. Whatever. King Boo, third place. <laughs> okay. In second place is Bowser Jr. with 22% of the votes. And, um, probably mostly for what he does in Super Mario Sunshine. He actually is in a lot of the new Super Mario Bros. games, though. He plays a big role in that, carrying the princess from the castle to castle. You know the deal, basically. <laughs> but, uh, Bowser Jr. got second place with 22% of the votes. And in first place, this may not come to a surprise to anybody, but it is Bowser with 37% of the votes. He is basically the main antagonist to all of Mario's adventures, pretty much. I mean, disregarding Paper Mario 2 and 3, but I think, I just, I knew, I knew he was going to win by a lot, because he's the most common, and uh, I just kind of wanted to see who two, and 2 through 5 were, and I'm sure you guys agree with me. But Bowser got 30, 37% of the votes, Bowser's the man, I don't know, I always just like Bowser. I think. Some of his lines in Paper Mario 2 and 3 are just so great. The way they just portray him, he's just he's just a really cool, really cool guy, and I like Bowser a lot. So there you go, he got first place. Not surprised at all on that one. <laughs> so uh, let's go in to next week's question. Okay, so I got this one in the comments of the last video. Sorry, I don't remember your name, but um, it is, what is your favorite Pokemon spin-off game? As you know, there are a lot of Pokemon main RPGs for the Game Boys and stuff like that and the Nintendo DS's but there are also a ton of Pokemon spin-off games and what a spin-off game is it's basically not to the main series but it's still Pokemon there's a lot for the DS such as Pokemon Conquest, Pokemon Trozai, and there's N64, Pokemon Puzzle League, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium there are a lot, there's Pokemon Coliseum you guys get the you guys get the deal. It's it, there are a lot of Pokemon spin-off games and some are not so good and some are really good. So leave in the comments below what your favorite Pokemon spin-off games are. I'd love to see that. I'll I'll come back next week and give you guys a result. So um that's pretty much it for this episode. Check out my personal Let's Play channel in the description. Subscribe if you want. Subscribe to Ninbuzz if you haven't already, guys. I sound like Purple Roger. Uh, <laughs> and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week on Community Choice. Peace out.